All right, so first time I've seen you since uh, the big win in the semis at Reading last year. The team just keeps it rolling. Another, uh, you know, a couple big wins here to open the season. Uh, just talk, talk about opening the season this way and uh, just thoughts on uh, keeping things rolling like that. Well, it's nice to start out on the road with a couple victories because the guys start to get a good, it's a good bonding experience for them. So when they start playing for one another and they start caring about one another, and that's, that's one of the things in development we don't really talk about is actually caring about one another and, and playing your best for each other. And to start out like that, it's a nice it's a nice way to start the season. Hopefully we can continue with the momentum and have a start like we did last year. Absolutely. Now, got a lot of guys doing big things, even guys that aren't contributing offensively or contributing on the defensive side and stealing bases and, and just getting other things done. Uh, what are your impressions of, of the roster overall? Obviously, you got some guys returning, but just overall impressions of a new crew, uh, guys, guys gelling together just as a new team. Well, what we're trying to do is put the emphasis on a total package, so it's not just hitting or it's not just pitching. Obviously, defense, we've still got some ways to go with the defense. We've got some guys that can play really stellar defense as well. So teaching them how to understand how to take the extra base, base running, taking the stolen bases when those opportunities go, going first to third, that type of things. Those are the key elements in creating a big leaguer, and it's not just about hitting or what you're, how hard you throw. So, you know, they're learning a little bit about the overall game at this level. And you got a, guy, a few guys, uh, a few names on the roster this year that some folks might be surprised to see back with this team. Uh, you know, whether they're re repeat guys from last year or uh, you know returning guys to the system that were here two years ago. Uh, you, you know, you can pick, pick out names. You know who I'm talking about. Just um, are, are there guys that surprise you? on this roster that, that are here again for a second or, or, or a season? Well, the one thing about having an organization that has a lot of talent, there's going to be some holdover and carryover. I mean, for McDade to come back here, you think he had a good year last year and he got called up. Well, David Cooper hit 370 in right. AAA and he's back in AAA. So you just, you know, the, the big league has a need. They're not afraid to pull anybody from AAA or AA. And that's what I think we're tr the message we're trying to, to relay to the players is there's no difference. You play well, you go to the big league. So whether you're in AA, AAA, it really doesn't matter. Just get your at bats and get ready. And one of the names folks are surprised to be uh, to see on the New Hampshire ro roster is Brett Cecil. Just uh, maybe some thoughts on him and what the, what the game plan is for him going forward. Well, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm really not sure what our game plan is at 100%. I think what we're trying to going to try to do is we're going to try to get him to have faith in all of his stuff again, keeping his delivery sound, and hopefully he can add some more miles an hour to his fastball. And he comes here with a good attitude and he wants to work. He understands that he can go to the big leagues tomorrow. He just, you know, we, we haven't even seen him yet, so he's taken a few days to get his mind right. And hopefully when he comes here, he's in a good mindset. And he just wants to compete and get a little bit better, and hopefully can develop himself back into a major leaguer. Absolutely. Now, uh, team notes state that he's he's slated to start against Reading on Monday. Uh, is he just gonna? I, I didn't see him around. Is he just gonna join the team when when you guys head over there? Yeah, I think so. I think so because uh, you know after the day game tomorrow, we're gonna go right to Reading. So I don't know when he's gonna get in exactly, but. He gets in. He'll be ready to go. Okay, sounds good. Now, uh, Chad Jenkins, uh, guy who performed well for you last year and just starts off the 2012 campaign with a really strong outing. Just talk about uh, him being out there today uh, and just his efforts and his improvements that he's made since he's joined you. Well, he's you know he's just trying to solidify his delivery and make sure that his slider gets sharp and stays sharp. You know, it, for him to come here, it's just a matter of getting his work in and making sure that he's working down in the zone and he's creating angle with his sinker and sharpening up the slider, sharpening up the breaking ball so he's able to have a couple pitches if he does go to the big leagues. So he's a big, strong horse. You know, he just needs the innings and he needs the reps. That simple. Thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. You got it. Good night. Good night.